Okay. So, gym time. Let's see. That's not where the gym is. The gym is in here. And it's, uh... Go through the door, please. Thank you. I don't know why it's so hard to go through the door. Like, really, guys? Anyway. Small room, right? This is, uh, not much for a gym. Uh, we shall see what is behind all this in a minute, but I will be switching out you to lead off, and I will be giving uh, leftovers to you also. Alright, so my main two weapons in this gym, because it's a psychic type gym, are going to be Avogadro and, uh, not Avogadro, uh, E and Hubble, um, the Aegislash and the Gyarados, because they have a uh, Shadow Sneak and Bite, respectively. Now, when you step on this middle thing, this happens, and this looks really cool. Unfortunately, when you hit the 3D slider, nothing happens. Um, I'd imagine this would really uh, quite look like something. Anyway! Rotation! And that one's out of the way, not too bad. Let's see, let's hit this button and see where it takes me, because these will... Uh, I don't know if it's... I think it's a teleporter sort of thing, and it'll uh, send me somewhere else on this giant massive rotational constellation thing. Uh, let's not step on that one. Uh, I am not sure, though. I just know that it's a lot more linear than a lot of the teleporter puzzles you see, and uh, running around, there's generally only one path forward, although it does tend to fork like this. Uh, let's see, this is... I stepped on it, come on. This is going to lead me over here. It also reminds me of a couple of the things in the uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, the, uh, like the space junk sort of things, but let's see. Can I fight a trainer, please? Because I'd really like to fight a trainer. That'd be really nice. You there! Hi. Yes. And that wasn't too bad, uh, even though I was fighting a Metacham which was several levels higher than me. Uh, Metacham, a lot of the Pokemon in this gym can't do an awful lot to a, uh, a Doblade. So, let's see, where are we going to go next? Where is this going to lead me? Alright, this looks rather familiar. I want to say I've been here already, but um, I don't know. Okay, no, I haven't been here before. I see a trainer. I said I see a trainer. Come on. Thank you. Come on! I should not have had that much trouble with Arena Clus. Critical hits are fun. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go and, uh... I'm suddenly sneezing like allergies or something. I'm going to go and heal my team, so you are going to get some HP back, and you are going to get some HP back, and I saw these three ice heals, and so I'm just not going to use them for anything, almost. Alright, uh, let's see, down here is the next thing that I'm supposed to follow. I guess I can kind of edit out me, uh, sneezing and whatever, but that will be a little awkward because, uh, dead space in the commentary, but, uh, it just kicked in like five minutes ago during that last battle. It's weird. Anyway, Hex Maniac Melanie. Well, that one went a little better than the last one, at least. Let's see, up here. That still looks really cool. Uh, is this a dead end? I think, yeah, that dead ends. And that's uh, apparently next to where it was a little while ago. Alright. Uh, I think there's supposed to be another trainer in this gym, but apparently I didn't run into them. So, I guess, uh... I guess that's it. We're at the gym leader. So, my team is healed up. Uh, except for Raichu, who I don't think is going to really be seeing all that much action anyway. Let's go! Olympia! It's one of the shortest interactions I've ever seen in the gym leader. Alright, so welcome to the 7th gym leader battle of this game versus Olympia. And, uh, she's going to challenge us and she's going to send in a Sigilith. Sigilith. And this Sigilith is only going to be level 44, everything else I fought in this gym was level 46, it's kind of weird. Uh, for the most part, the trainers in this gym, except for one Pokemon, are stronger than the gym leader herself. And I don't really get that. I'm going to go as high as I can with, um, with Swords Dance. This thing has, uh, Psychic, Air Slash, Light Screen, and Reflect, so it can't do anything to me. Uh, even if it gets a Light Screen up, if I go plus 4, uh, my attack is going to be increased, and I'm going to be doing twice as much damage as I normally would against these things, uh, unboosted. So you're going to do Reflect. Now this thing has Magic Guard by the way, so don't try and poison or burn it or whatever. Um, even Weather or Confusion or whatever, it won't do anything to it. And it's not holding a Held item, so uh, I am plus 4 now, and uh, one more, plus 6. You're going to use Psychic. I don't think that's going to do all that much. I'm, it's not very effective. I don't have the greatest special defense, good. I'll take that with better than half health. 
Um, I believe there are uh, three turns in the Reflect Left, and I'm gonna try and stall those out. Uh, let's see how much a Shadow Sneak does. I don't think a, sh a Shadow Sneak will KO, but it should do some decent damage. Net plus six. Uh, let's see. That went and KO'd, alright! Uh, I can deal with that. So, uh, you're gonna go down, and I'm gonna get some experience. I didn't get any experience at all from that, oh my god. And I'm gonna get some HP back from Leftovers, which is always good. Uh, Meowstic is up next, alright? So, Meowstic. Uh, this is her one Pokemon that can, that can actually hurt me. Uh, this thing is level 48. It's a Psychic type, I probably mentioned that already. It has Infiltrator for the ability, meaning that uh, it'll bypass substitutes and reflects and whatever. Uh, it has Psychic, Calm Mind, Fake Out, and Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball being the one move that can actually damage me. Oh my god, that almost took it down. Let's see what Shadow Ball does. It'll probably kill me. Yeah, that's too bad. Alright, whatever. Uh, that would have completely annihilated you if the Reflect wasn't there. Uh, let's see... Who do I want to send in? I kind of want to bring in a Shell Gun and see if he can survive, but you have low special defense, so I'm not going to risk it. Uh, Gyarados, do your thing. Let's see, Gyarados. Uh, a bite, regardless of the uh, Reflect the Light Screen or whatever, should take this down at this range of HP and that Gyarados is physical attack. It's not the most powerful move- oh, you have a potion, of course. Uh, yeah, it's not the most powerful move in the world, but Bite uh, does have 6 space power and a chance of flinching, which is really nice. And that did about a quarter. Okay, so Reflect we're down, and I'll be doing a little less than half now, I think. Using Calm Mind. Alright, so it doesn't have a chance of flinching now because you're faster than me, apparently. Alright. Special Attack Arrows, Special Defense Arrows, which is wonderful because uh, Bite is a physical move. Gyarados does, have, Gyarados does have good special attack, uh, special defense. Uh, let's see what this does. Yeah, Psychic did a little more than half, and Bite is going to take you down. Alright. Meowstic has fainted. Let's see. Gaining some experience. That wasn't real that much. Slow King is up next. And... let's see. I'm gonna try and uh, Bite flinch you, and at least wear your HP down. I know I won't probably be able to kill Slow King with Bite. Uh, this thing is level 45. It has Psychic, Calm Mind, Power Gem, and Yawn. Oblivious to the ability, meaning that stat boosts don't really affect it, so I think that actually would have sliced through the uh, plus four I had on sword, uh, plus six rather I had on sword stance, even if uh, Doughblade didn't die. Let's see, that did more than I expected to, because Slowking is pretty defensive. Uh, you're gonna use Power Drum, okay, so that's super effective against me, but I might be able to live that. No, okay, whatever. Um, I know that Gyarados does have some pretty sizable special defense. Pi, you have Grass Knot, unless you have a uh, another Hyper Potion or something. Grass Knot is going to be taking you down, and you have another Hyper Potion. Perfect! Wonderful, amazing. Uh, I don't know how much damage this is going to do, I don't know how heavy Slow King is. I don't like Grass Knot because it's variable damage based on your weight, uh, but I think the most you can do to me is Power Gem, and I think I can tank one of those and 3 hit carry you with Grass Knot. Oh, that'll be a 4 hit. But okay, Yawn, whatever. That's not very nice. Let's see if I can take you down with this one anyway. Oh my god, lag. Yes, yawn again, and of course it fails, because we already used it. Alright, let's see how much I can live. If it, looks, if it looks like I'm in danger of dying, like a power gem, I'll switch out to someone else. Uh, probably Roserade. Yeah, let's, let's not do this. I do want to get um, Pi some experience. Alright, so come back. Wonderful. And Plank is going to go out, and you should take a power gem pretty well. You are a Rosary, you do have good special defense. I forget what the exact number is, but you, know, you take that really well. Uh, Grass Knot. Psychic would be super effective against me, but there's no way that that thing is going to live. And Slow King has fainted. Okay! Thanks for playing, Olympia! I got a level up out of that. I'm getting some severe lag spikes here. Uh, my special attack is up to 119, which isn't bad at all. And Pi has grown to level 41, which is also pretty good. Defeated the leader Olympia! Create your own path, let nothing get in the way. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. So, now the Psychic Badge, proof of your power, and the ever so creative nicknames of the badges in Pokemon X and Y. I preferred it when they were like the, the, what was it, the Zephyr Badge and the Legend Badge and the Plane Badge and stuff like that from uh, Jojo and whatever. Farewell! Yeah, I don't know if there's any, uh... Oh, she's just gonna teleport us back to the entrance. That's really nice. I don't have to waste time walking out. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center.